All right, this is where I get like a little rude with this, but I have to show this at some point because the girls just don't seem to want to get it. A weird situation like what I've got right here. I had this weird couple that just happens to show up. Dude with blonde ponytail hanging out of the back of a hat. The part is the people way over there in the background. Those people staring in this direction, seeing that guy and then me. And I just can't imagine that that isn't how a lot of these rumors are being kept alive. Just some random dude who happens to have blonde hair gets sent in my vicinity because some girl wants to say hello to me but they're giving her all of this horse crap and garbage and charading and lies and propaganda and whisper war and like I don't I don't know how to explain this to you ladies don't talk to the goblins Give them the opportunity to show you what they want you to see, and they are going to make sure. Whether you believe it or not, that's the story you're going to go with. I can't just get up and kill every blonde dude that happens into my area. I know that's what Jolie's giggling about. But it's unrealistic. Well, no, I don't know who the dude is. He's like 50-something. With an elderly woman, but I can sort of feel the awkwardness. Just on an average day, it's not all girls that come out here, mind you. There is enough to ping pong. Well, I gotta fix this hair a little better. I did it while it was wet. But now that it's dry, it's. Look like a squirrel that tried to give itself a haircut. But I can kind of sort of tell, alright, on any average given day. Body language. All of it. And so, just to give you an example, when like a pretty good looking girl starts fumbling over the rocks, and it's, she's not looking at anything, she's not stopping to investigate anything, she's not taking pictures of the squirrels or looking up at the rest of the Moro rock. She seems to have an aimed position out here, like a tape X on the ground or something. Comes straight to it, stands there, ignores me staring off into the water for however much time, I guess, I don't know. And then turns around and leaves. Doesn't look at anything, doesn't text any. Just... So I can't imagine the behind the scenes of situations like that. She was told one thing and then comes out here and sort of completes the illusion by doing what they told her to do. Don't talk to the goblins. Also, for a lot of you people that kind of get put out with me talking so much, it helps where it needs to help. If you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth immediately, then they're probably not for you. But being so self-centered, not everything I do is about you individually. There are a lot of people attached to this situation now. feel awkward and rude doing that shit. But when I look over and see a dude with blonde hair hanging out of the back of his hat, and then beyond them, towards the entrance of this place, is a bunch of hot girls all staring and gawking in this direction, with some weird wormy guy like mumbling and whispering stuff into their ears. I can't not put two and two together. All the whispers, all the gossip fodder, I call it. Remember how many times I try to explain this to ladies. Last night was a similar situation. I kind of could feel it out a little bit. With some girl showing up to Moral Rock, trampsing all the way down to the entrance of these rock stacks, and then just standing there, waiting for one of the swine to come sprinting down the tarmac to stop her. 
She's got a giant grin on her face. This idiot falls all over himself trying to act like a tough guy right up until I go boom and then silence. I can't get up and investigate every awkward thing. You girls need to wind up on a wall and shot. This is so dumb. So, I don't know. Where are we? Five minutes, good lord. So something I was trying to explain to Hewitt Mutta. He's like, look, and I just got through speaking this, so forgive me if I seem a little redundant. But just San Luis Obispo to here, alright? Sometime in November in San Luis Obispo. It was at night. I got done with the internet stuffs and YouTube. Started walking back up the hill, looking for some weed, because that's my only vice. When this short, kind of good-looking MILF lady stops me dead in my tracks and asks me if I would like some weed. And I go, hoofty goofty, hoofty goofty. And I want to have to explain that situation again, but there's a reason I call her crazy poodle lady, so try not to take everything she says. In fact, don't listen to anything she says. She's crazy. But a few weeks later, a subway girl did it. I'm standing in front of Subway, checking my internet stuff, when all of a sudden the door opened, and there's a girl looking at me and says, Hey, excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Within a few hours, I was in her room watching Cobra Kai eating the Subway sandwich. And it's happened with three different people here in Morro Bay. But there I am, walking along the sidewalk, maybe grumpy, maybe grumbling to myself. When all of a sudden, hey, Daniel, and I look up, and there's someone trying to get my attention. And we engage a conversation. So I, you know, a lot of you ladies that keep trying to say you tried to say hello to me, and I'm scratching my head going, no, you didn't. Because the one thing that I have been kind of pathetically begging for this entire freaking time is reading a book, doing something like this, eating, watching the water splash on the rocks. Now, if to be sitting here in my own little world was to suddenly hear somebody going, hey, and I look up and it's a gorgeous woman trying to get my attention, I am not about to just ignore that. So we're trying to tell people that's what's going on. Your anxieties, your frustrations. And I don't know what's going on at the crack of dawn anymore. Look, I am not trying to exhaust myself to the point of rust because you girls don't want to stop being stupid. But if these swine are waking up at like 4 o'clock in the morning to come skittering out here, and then you girls are following tow along the script, coming out here at like the crack of freaking twilight and watching some cockroach skitter out of here and creating a whole elaborate story out of it, I don't understand the hiccup here. If you guys are trying to call all these cockroaches the Apex Champions, take them and go. I've said that so many times. And yet you girls just giggle and leave these pathetic morons here. To crawl around on their bellies at my 300 yard line talking shit about me and then sprinting away in front of everybody. And it just, it's... It's lame. I've got stuff I want to start working on now. And I'm tired of doing this. To be quite honest, the, I don't know if mundane or monotonous, these words don't add up. I am tired of holding a phone up to my face and making videos and trying to journal this stupidity. The second I stop talking and explaining my side of the fence, everybody on the other side of the fence jumps up and tries to fill in the gaps. And it's not going to be anything nice. But I don't know what this addiction to sitting 400 yards away staring at me and belittling me all day every day is. A lot of you people are grown ass people with jobs and careers and families and mortgages. And yet you're acting like retarded middle schoolers. Nelson laughing, some random homeless guy. Obviously I'm not so random, but... 
Knock it off. I know, right? Been here since March 7th. Saw this big old moral rock from the hills way over there in the distance. Because I had to cross those hills to get here. I had no idea what it was when I saw it. Got here, saw the Jedi temple effect of the whole place, and been here ever since. But right here, on this big old huge slab of stone. Been waiting for one thing. One thing. Get my attention. Say hello. There's all kinds of different ways of doing this. Don't send somebody to do it. They're going to lie to you. Also, again, yes, I've got a new phone, but it's a weird phone. It's a, like off, well, not off brand, it's Nokia. Hardly anybody carries the phone casings for this phone. <clears throat> but this phone has no service whatsoever. I'd have to call an 800 number, talk to a person, put in a credit card number, select a phone number, select an activation service plan, and then have all that shit downloaded to the device. This phone does not receive or send texts or messages. I have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to do anything. So let's get that off the freaking table. Nobody's texting me. This is already 12 minutes. Lord. Um run the bulletin. I'm not gay. I'm not part of a cult. I'm not part of a group. I'm not part of a gang. Not secretly or openly. I'm not married at all. In any way whatsoever affiliated with anybody. Now don't get all wide-eyed and act concerned and confused and start asking goblins to reiterate what I just said. They tell you one thing and then tell you you can't walk up and talk to me. That should have been enough to get most of you to pull a pistol from your purse and blow these idiots away. Just walk up and say hello. That is it. That is all you gotta do. Jesus Christ. Yes, that's me, actually. But, um, uh, I didn't realize how loud my vocals could be, because when I get a little excited out here, apparently the town can still hear me. And that's when I'm being normal, in my opinion, normal voice. But whatever. But talking to people about me, but asking other people questions about me. Walk up to me and say hello. 